Well, the presidential election is on the 18th of July and it's become quite a prestige contest even though the NDA has the numbers to see Draupadi Murmu through with Yashwan Sinha becoming the consensus candidate of opposition parties. Mr. Sinha joins us on NDTV now to talk more about that and the significance uh, of his nomination. Uh, Mr. Sinha, thanks very much for joining us. Firstly, why did you agree to accept the nomination? I don't see any reason why I shouldn't have. Uh, People are saying that I was the fourth uh, choice of the opposition parties and I said in my press conference yesterday that even if I was the tenth choice, I would have accepted because this is a principled fight. It is uh, a fight uh, which will determine the course of politics in the coming years and therefore I wanted to be a part of it and I am in the fray. But Mr. Sinha, the NDA do seem to have the numbers on their side. So is this, would you acknowledge, a tough battle? Every battle, every electoral battle, Nidhi, is a tough battle. No election is easy. If the media has already come to the conclusion that uh, the, the government nominee has the numbers, my answer to that question is that in that case we should not have an election. We should go out, ask the media, who has got the numbers and then let that person be elected, declared elected or selected or whatever. I would like to tell you I, who votes in the election of the Rashpati. It's the MLAs and the MPs, isn't it? There is no whip in this election and it's a secret ballot. Why has the constitution made this provision that there will be no whip and it will be a secret ballot because the constitution wanted the electors, MPs and MLAs, to vote according to their conscience, not necessarily according to the decision of the party. And I'd like to tell you that parties should be very careful about how they decide the vote of their electors in this election because it's a secret ballot. So you are saying that the outcome is not a foregone conclusion? Absolutely. Absolutely. And let me also tell you that even if it was a foregone conclusion, I would still be in the fight because this election, as I said, is more than the election of the Raj, for the Rajpati of India. It is a beginning of a political fight between the government and the opposition. But Mr. Sinha, wouldn't you say that opposition disunity has also been exposed? You know, the NDA choice uh, has also put the JMM, for instance, uh, in, in a spot. Uh, they may go with the, the NDA's choice as a result of that. And then you have fence-sitters like Naveen Patnayak, uh, who've also felt comp compelled to go uh, with the BJP's choice. So has this exposed cracks in the opposition camp as well? Naveen Patnayak was not invited to the meeting of the opposition parties. Naveen Patnaik has always followed his own path. My uh, take on this is that it's wrong to consider Naveen Patnaik as an opposition uh, party. Uh, just as YSR is not an opposition party, they have always uh, been with the government and therefore we should not be surprised that uh, Biju Janta Dal and YSR are with the government in this election. At least I am not surprised. As far as the other opposition parties are concerned, including JMM, they were part of the decision in which, or the meeting in which decision was taken to put me up as a candidate. And I hope they'll uh, stick to their commitment and not change their, uh, their view in the matter. And let me also tell you that much is being made, much is being made of the identity of the ruling party candidate, isn't it? There have been, earlier, there have been candidates for the election of Rashpati who have been, who belong to the scheduled tribe. There have been, there has been a woman who belong to the scheduled caste. Never before have I seen identity politics being played in the manner in which it is being played today. And this shows the weakness of the BJP. They are all hiding behind their candidates' uh, tribal identity, Mahila identity and all that. It shows a lack of confidence in them. 
because this is not how uh, the Rashtrapati election will be uh, will be fought either now or in future or it has been fought in the past. So therefore, it is not a question of identity, her identity and my identity. It is a question of the track record of the candidates. It is a question of who will make a better Rashtrapati. Well, you're making an interesting point here that they're hiding behind her tribal identity. You wouldn't think that she would uh, make a good president regardless of that. What do you think of Draupadi Murmu otherwise? No, why should I offer an opinion on that? I can only tell you that uh, ever since I was declared as the joint candidate of the opposition parties, you have seen that I've been out there. I've been out there facing the media day after day, hour after hour. Even today, after I have filed my nomination, yesterday and today I am facing the media. She filed her nomination on the 24th of June. Have you been able to talk to her? No. There you are. That says a lot. So how do you think that this battle will shape up opposition politics ahead of 2024? I am sure that you would concede that significant challenges remain. Of course they remain. Who has said that the path forward is easy. Everyone knows that the way forward is difficult, but I think a beginning has been made. I am confident it will not stop here and the opposition parties will remain uh, together and work on a common program to challenge the government. 2024 will be a very interesting election. All right, Mr. Yashwan Sinha, good luck for your election uh, and that uh, presidential poll. Thanks very much for joining us on NDTV.